Hi everyone, this is Francisco, and I bought this book, Kids World Spiders, um, Tamara Einstein and Einstein Sisters, and there's the trap door webs. And basically, the ones who do this type of trapdoor is the tarantulas. And I thought about an idea. I thought, why don't we humans create some cool trapdoors ourselves and introduce a tarantula in the habitat in the enclosure for it to use that so like there could be different designs and people can dedicate a whole website just on this type of stuff and sell other products online but mainly their focus will be the trap doors like a bunker or something cool and creative um just to do something different and to have something different and for people to be a little bit more uh interested in in spiders um specifically the tarantulas uh, so basically that was all I wanted to share but uh, this is trap door closed and trap door open So the tarantula goes in there and just hangs out in there. Um, it says they make borrow burrows 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 aligned with silk that have a special lid or trap door. See that? It says they make the lid using silk. To stick together bits of dirt, sand, dry twigs, and grass. The inside of the lid is usually padded with extra silk. Hold on, let me open it for you. Here, Josiah. Be careful, don't spill it. So, like, instead of allowing the tarantula to do the work and providing the 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 tools or the resources for it to do it itself basically it will just be a door that will be like a little flange that will stay open a little bit but creating it in such a way where it will mimic what they do in reality you know, and, and naturally themselves. And like, what if someone created one, like a, a one design could be like a tank, a tank for the military. And the trap door could be um, where the spider will go into. So like when someone looks at it or if someone goes to a museum or to places where they sell spiders and stuff. Or if someone's just recording it or they have visitors over. They will see, you know, this type of stuff. And then, obviously, they'll be able to talk about it and share with them, you know, what's going on and what it, what it is and what's in there. 
Kind of like um, Petco and PetSmart. Something like that. Or reptile places where they sell reptiles and birds and stuff like that as well. Um, but yeah, it's an idea. And I think that it could sell big time. I think it will sell. Uh, and if you guys have any any ideas, um, creative ideas as a design for the tarantulas, um, write it down in the comment section. Um, because I I could do more research and figure out like how big they make them, how big they should be made and stuff like that. But honestly, I don't really know. But it could be like an artificial um, door trap for the tarantula. So it could be clean and it could stay clean. And if you need to clean its home, you would be able to like submerge it in chemicals and clean it out and then reintroduce that to the spider so I could go back in there and create a new like new light liners new bedding with the silk that they produce and um, yeah that way they can stay warm and comfortable and stuff like that you know mmm but yeah, it will be extra work to do it that way, but I think it would be super cool because it will be more interactive for people who own them and have them as pets. Because I just, when I was reading that, it said that some tarantulas live for 20 years and as pets, they live up to 40 years. So, those of you who have tarantulas know what I'm talking about. And, um, yeah, I just think it will be something creative um, and different. Or, like, what about a street? A street with a sewer? You know that little door? Well, it's like the cap, the metal cap. On the street. But what if that was the trap door? That would be pretty cool. That's another one. Um, mm, or I don't know. Like something camouflaged. Um, where, like, it, it'll be kind of hard to notice. Um. Kind of like, uh, artificial plants and grasses. But obviously when the tarantula goes there, it'll be open. They open it somehow, so they will be able, the tarantula will be able to open it. And scout around and then make that its home so they can feel more comfortable and they'll basically go in there because they they feel probably more safer as well so like if they they feel like they're under stress or whatever they'll be able to go in there and just relax um, mm. I'm trying to think about what else would be a good idea. Mm. 
Yeah, I guess it could be like a little bush as well. That will open up and close. Something lightweight, nothing heavy. Um. Or what about like a rock? Like something unique, something different. Something like a gemstone. Or what about like a heart? A heart. A trapdoor shaped heart. You know, something different. Or like a shape. Or shapes. Um... I don't know, stuff like that. Or what about money? Money, like a bunch of coins. And then, kind of like something that you would see in the movie Aladdin. With a bunch of gold and jewelry. But then obviously it will have the trap door somewhere in there. And the tarantula will find it eventually. So that would be pretty cool. If you have any ideas, like I said, write them in the comment section. I would love to um, hear about them. And maybe we can create them for future generations.